this is a lesson on estimating quotients. And quotients, remember, is um, dividing. So um, when you're estimating quotients, you are going to want to use compatible numbers to estimate. So it's a little bit different. You're not just rounding now. You're going to want a multiplication chart for sure to do this. Um, unless you know your multiplication table really well. So first, what you need to do is look at the smaller number and keep all of the multiples of this number in mind. So here's our example. We've got uh, 4 and 15. So 4 is the smaller number. So we're thinking of the multiples of 4. And uh, so that's like 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, and so on. We won't need more than that. Okay, so keep thinking of those, and you could see that on a multiplication chart. Um, then what you need to do is look at the larger number and see which multiple of, of the smaller number it's closest to, um, and then change it to that one. So 15 is closest to 16. That's only one away. So we're going to change 15 to 16 for purposes of estimating. So we're going to do 16 divided by 4. And now that's really easy because it's... Um, it's going to work out perfectly. That's the whole purpose of compatible numbers is making the dividing part um, easy because the rounding part is easy anyways. So make dividing easier, make your life easier. 16 divided by 4 equals 4. I know that's true because 4 times 4 equals 16. Okay, so that's how you do compatible numbers. Make sure you copy that, this part down. Um, now, you'll know if... You'll, or you will know the number can easily be, di be divided if it is a multiple of the smaller number. Okay, so um, 15 can't easily be divided by 4. It would be like 3 um, and then a little bit, right? It, it's not exactly 3, so that's not, that's not a fun number. If you were to put, type it into a calculator, you would see um, 16 divided by 4 is much more fun. Okay, so when you're estimating uh, with division, you're not just picking or uh, rounding to a number with a zero after it. You're rounding with um, the multiple of the smaller number. Okay, so let's just get rid of that. Uh, here's an ex another example. So if I wanted to do, if I wanted to do 73 divided by nine. I would think of the multiples of 9, I could look at a multiplication chart, or I could write them out. So I've got 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81, 90, and my number is 73. It's not bigger than 90, so I probably went even further than I needed to. Then I look at the bigger number, and I look at uh, which multiple 73 is closest to, which multiple of 9. Well, it's closest to 72. It's right there. So I will change 73 to 72 for purposes of estimating. And that means that 73 divided by 9 is about 8, because 72 divided by 9 is 8. Okay, so <laughs> hopefully that's making sense to you. Um, it's a really simple concept in my mind anyways. Um, so do these three practice. So please pause the video, do the practice, and then play again to make sure that you've got it right. Okay, so here are the multiples of 9, which um, you could get from above because I had already written it. And now we need to find which multiple 82 is closest to, and it is closest to 81. So I will change 82 to 81, sort of round it from 82 to 81. And I'll go 81 divided by 9. 9 times 9 equals 81. So that means that 82 is about 9. Or not 82. 82 divided by 9 is about 9. Okay, next one, write the multiples of, the, um, of 5. Okay, so here they are. And you'll notice that I made, to, made sure to do the next largest number after 32, just in case this number is closer to that, to that larger one. Um, so here are the multiples, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So which one is closer to 32? Is 30 closer or is 35 closer? Well, 32 is 2 away from 30 and uh, 3 away from 35. So it would be closer to 30. So 32 divided by 5 is about the same as 30 divided by 5. 
and 5 times 6 equals 30, so it is about 6. Okay, and last one, we need to write the multiples of 7, and we're not going to need to write many. We've got 7, 14, 21, and 21 is bigger than 20, so I can stop there. Now, I need to find which number is closer to 20, 14, or 21. Well, it's only one away from 21, so that's the obvious answer. So around 20 to 21. 21 divided by 7 equals 3, because 3 times 7 equals 21. So my answer is about 3. Alright, so pretty straightforward. Only one way to do it. Um, so your assignment is page 300 to 301, number 1 to 6.